Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today we are back on Battlefield 2042, starting out this game in the jet on a map that is probably being asked for reworks by a lot of the community, which is Hourglass. And a lot of people would probably say this is the worst map in Battlefield 2042. But for me, at the moment, this is probably one of the maps that I look forward to playing the most because lately I have been flying a lot of the jets and you can definitely get a lot done with this F-35 on Hourglass. There's a lot of room to play with. If one part of the map is getting too hot, you can usually move somewhere else. There's plenty of vehicles like this transport alley here. And the infantry really does stand out quite well when you're coming at them from a nice high angle in the jet. So probably all the things that make a good infantry map do tend to make a, uh, a really bad jet map and vice versa. And this is definitely not a great infantry map. So we should be able to get a bit done here. Anyway, just starting out, I usually do like to get all the air vehicles because they can chase you down. So we've got the transport helicopter and now the nightbird dead. The jet died at the very start. So there could be an attack helicopter because there is two on this map. I think I saw it up at the tower, but it's not around anymore. So now pretty much all the air targets are dead. Only like a minute into the game. So it's always good progress. And now it's pretty much time to try to find infantry players. So I'm running the 25 mil cannons in this gameplay. They are the best way to handle infantry targets with the jets. And I'm running the AGMs as well, because without AGMs, you just can't do anything to those pesky wildcats. So I like to have something to counter ground vehicles. Just barely managed to get that guy right there. AGMs are also good for these kind of targets here. It doesn't really take any effort at all just to lock on and click twice and you can get, you know, up to four or five kills sometimes on those. I just drew a line across that guy because I knew he was already just a one-shot kill. Anyways, right about now there probably should be a jet spawning up soon. It's probably pretty much ready to be spawned, but nothing's really going on. So we'll see if we can get one more infantry real quick. They're finally working on that flag up here, which is good. There's that jet. Back in BF4, I used to do that a lot. You can do a lot of damage in the head-on, and that pretty much reduces the amount you have to do during the dogfight, so... It's good to learn how to do that. Let's see if we can get this Nightbird. This is actually a good player. Fair bit of damage on that pass, and I'm going to try to kill him before he goes and hides in the stadium. Oh, he's not hiding. Okay. Okay, I think he has a rep on him because he got a lot of health back. We'll leave him alone for now. The further you can shoot from, the better against these kind of vehicles, so I start shooting from a long way away, and I try to overheat as I pass the heli, like pretty much there. That's almost 70 damage, and he's bailed it, so don't have to worry about that one. See if we can get an infantry or two. Nice. And hopefully we can farm that roof a bit more. That roof is probably one of the best spots to get a lot of kills. And I think rooftops in general are one of those things that really make a jet map great. A kaleidoscope has a lot of roofs. Orbital has that one mega rooftop that you can get a lot of kills on. You, you just need maps with rooftops in the jet. Anyways, I think the guy bailed that, so no kill there. Check this rooftop again. This guy's on the opposite one, just trying to burst out that long range. Really bad aim. I think I hit every single player there, but didn't kill any of them. So we'll try that one again. It does happen in the jets. That's why first shot accuracy is so important. One, two. Not too bad. A bit desperate with the spray control there. That guy got beamed, holy. See if we can kill these guys. They're sitting behind a little head glitch here. I try to use my cannons on the light vehicles when I can. Because you can't flare the cannons. Like, if you're hitting them, they're just going to hit no matter what. Whereas I can actually flare against the lock-ons, so... If they're not going that fast, I will try to use the cannons. And headshots just don't get old in this jet. They're so satisfying. 
A lot more infantry down on this objective, though, so we should be able to clean some stuff up. One. Surprised I didn't get a second there. Flying very low to the ground as well, but I'm not really concerned about that. You just have to in these jets to get a lot of kills. And I am kind of trying to hit the world record this game. My pace is really good, so we're just going to try to keep it up. You've got to get those kind of kills, though. That should be easy. Nightbird coming in. Generally, if I hit anything over 50 in the first pass against, like, a Nightbird, I will try to kill it. But if I only hit a slight bit of damage, I won't really go for Nightbirds. They're just so hard to kill in the jet. In this case, we just barely get it. There's a wildcat on the bridge, but it's not. These two guys should be killable. There we go. And there is a nicely timed transport in the base. I'm going to pull out of that strafe. It just looked like he really looked at me and lined up a shot. So I'm not going to let him hit a 50 mil on me there. You never know. These things can pretty much one frame you, so you got to be very careful with them. The jet does have a higher height ceiling, though. So I like to try to go above and then come down from that kind of angle and just one kill but it is important to get rid of the transport helis as a jet it's like one of the best things you can do for your team could have been a bit cleaner and got two kills there it's a nice satisfying aim there got the nightbird kill They do really melt these little transport vehicles, this jet does. Just in that last kill there as well, like, if you just have one or two more bullets to go, you can kind of dip the cannons down onto them. Sometimes it will work really well. There's 40 and 0. That's pretty good pace. I think that's actually on pace to hit like 100 and 0. So, let's see if we can keep it up. That should have been 2 there. We know where they are though. <laughs> I thought I killed him. And then I aimed off him. I'll kill this jet as it's coming out of spawn. I'm not really timing out these air vehicles, but... As a jet pilot, you want to have that kind of mental timer on the enemy vehicles. I think I'm pretty decent at timing that out. Just trying to dodge around a little bit to make sure I'm not exposing myself without flares. Finally, we'll kill him now. If we're lucky. There we go. And that is another helicopter on the radar. Stealth heli. You can really lay those out pretty quickly. I could go for that AA, but I'm probably just going to ignore it. It's so far on my side of the map, I think it will die if I ignore it. That was a very sneaky two-piece. This should be much easier. As a jet pilot, seeing prone snipers on a hill is just... There's not much of a better sight, really. The easiest kills you can get. Or just people standing still sniping. There's, oh, there's a few guys on that roof there. I've set up a strafe on that, so... We're going to fly away and then come back around to kill the guys behind that little box on the roof. There we go, three guys there. One, two, and unlucky. I'll let the third guy revive those two. We might go back for them later. Enemy jet up. I'm going to dodge. I could easily die here. Oh. 
I can't dogfight the jet over there. So I'm going to fly over the wildcat like that. And then, yeah. Try to fight him somewhere where we can't be interrupted. And I'll see if I can kill one of those last guys on this roof. We did leave one guy to revive the other two. It's clear enough, though. I think in this gameplay as well, I'm doing a pretty decent job of not getting too tunnel visioned on one specific area or target. And that's definitely something that works well in the jet. You're so fast in this game, especially. You can pretty much be everywhere you need to be. So don't tunnel vision on just one guy or one area. Try and flow around the map and keep people guessing. I think that's the cav that's shooting me, but it does a fair bit of damage, so it's a bit annoying. And the jet there, like, I'm kind of cross-air positioning on the corners where I think they're going to be. And cross-air positioning the jet is really quite good because the hardest part is adjusting the aim. So once you get it somewhere, you want to try to leave it there and have the enemies run into it. I mean, in general, I think cross-air positioning is one of those things that you want to always be thinking about in FPS games. The best way to aim is not to aim at all and just have the enemy already be where they have to be. Probably very basic advice there, but it does apply to jets too. really cutting it close there but I think I'm getting pretty decent at cutting it close no other targets to kill so I'll shoot at this wildcat unfortunately I think this game is not going to be record level it was on such good pace but the stormers just came in and it's so hard to kill this many people with a storm I pretty much got the enemy aircraft timed out perfectly now though which is good uh, attack Kelly and Jet spawn and I'm pretty much already on it and this should die in a second there you go so already most of their air forces is dead and uh, there's a nightbird remaining which I'm not going to waste too much time on jets just aren't very good against nightbirds unless you have radar missiles on then it's quite doable Close TV missile. There's a wild card. I'm just going to ignore him for now. Kill Vincent underscore cheese on his rooftop. And even in exits, like when I'm running away, I do try to like run away in a direction where there's another kill. Even if this missile does hit me, which I'm trying to dodge it. There you go. Even if that missile did hit me though, it wouldn't be the end of the world. And if I got a kill, it'd be all worth it. But you can actually dodge the missiles as I did there. You turn towards it and then fly towards the missile and it dodges it. It's kind of like BF3 if you've ever played that. But I'm not expecting people to have played BF3 jets a long time ago. Even I barely played those. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't hit one target, but the next target is just the first three bullets connect. Got 63 kills so far, so game's going really well. I'm cutting it really close, just trying to get as many kills as I can. I believe that's a wildcat locking onto me, but I have an exit that I can go out near the stadium, so we'll try to get a kill on the exit. That guy was like bugged into the sand or something. I couldn't see him, but that's okay. Unfortunately, the other targets are behind the sign there, but we got one. And the attack Kelly. This guy has the uh, the better skin, the try-hard skin for this heli. For some reason, I do judge uh, the skins, and if they have the good skins, I usually think they're going to be a bit better. Anyways, let's we'll see if we can kill him in this first pass. Oh! So I only lost like 20 health from that. That's insane.
just trying to find anything at this point. There's two AAs up now as well. Oh, just let me lock the right target. Man. And that that reason right there is why I want dumb fire weapons on the jets. I want to be able to choose my target and shoot who I want to shoot. I knew that guy was going to be positioned on the other side. He was going to come around that corner, but he didn't come quick enough. She heal kill though. Damn, a three-piece there would have been so clean, but I think I was about five centimeters off the ground on the exit there, so you got to be careful. Even just tapping the ground, it will put the jet into the into the map. That was very nice there. That's the kind of prediction you need to have. And that's the end of the streak. We will not be getting any more kills. I hope you guys enjoyed. Dice, please fix the jets. Goodbye.